and welcome back to the Katie Home Cook Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you a real classic recipe, apple pie. And mine's got a little bit of a twist on the traditional recipe, so let's get started. Whenever I'm making pastry, I make things a little bit easier for myself by starting it off in the food processor. So I'm going to start off with 300 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt. 40 grams of caster sugar because we're making a sweet pastry and I'm just going to blitz that together just to combine it and to that I'm going to be adding 225 grams of cubed very cold butter and then I'm going to blitz that until it resembles breadcrumbs and then to that I'm going to add one egg I'm just going to blitz that together again and then to that I'm just going to add some very cold water probably start with about three teaspoons and see if that sort of brings the dough together and I want to just want to pinch it with my hand and if you can see there it's starting to form a dough so that's fine we don't need any more water So with pastry, you don't want to knead it at all, so I'm just going to bring it together and it looks a bit crumbly but it will come together and then I'm going to roughly split it in half for our top and our bottom. I'm just going to flatten it down into a disc. So I'm just going to wrap my two discs now in cling film and we're going to pop those in the fridge for about an hour or alternatively put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes to cool down. My cling film's too small. <laughs> While our pastry is on chilling, uh, we're going to get on with peeling our apples. So I have about um, 1.3 kilos of Bramley cooking apples here which are my favourite to use in pies and crumbles I love how tart they are so I'm just gonna peel them coat them and core them just by popping that out and then I'm just gonna finely slice them slicing these apples some of them are getting a little bit brown so I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of lemon juice and that'll stop them going too brown while we're chopping the rest so my apples are all cut so I'm just going to add in about a teaspoon of cinnamon oh my bowl's a bit small definitely too small and then I'm also going to just add and this is optional about two tablespoons of brandy, two capfuls, and mix that through. So we've done our apples and our pastry's chilling, so I'm just going to start a buttery sort of caramelly sauce, which is my take on an apple pie, so it's a little bit different to most people's. Um, so I'm going to make a start on that. So we're going to get our pan, I'm going to add 100 grams of butter, and let that melt. And then, once it's melted, I'm just going to sprinkle in 40 grams of flour. It's almost like the base of a roux. I'm going to fry that off. And to this, I'm going to add 50 ml of water. And then finally, we can add our golden caster sugar. I'm just going to leave this simmer now for about three minutes and give it a stir occasionally. Okay, so that's our sauce done and you can see it's almost like a, a butterscotch or caramel sauce um, and we're going to be leaving that to cool for about five minutes and then we're going to be mixing up with our apples. So I've got my nice chilled pastry out of the um, fridge and I've got lightly dusted, or heavily dusted in this case, my 
surface and then I'm just going to take my rolling pin and roll up my pastry. notice mine was a little bit crumbly today I probably didn't chill it down quite enough um, but with this dough because it's got so much butter in it it's really malleable so when you start putting it into the pie dish you can sort of squish it and fix it so don't worry too much about cracks you definitely won't see them at the end so I'm just gonna add um, my sauce now which is a chance to cool a little bit into my apple and I'm gonna give that a good mix And at this stage, I just like to add a little pinch of salt as well. Okay, so they're nicely coated. Bring my pie dish back in. And add in my lovely coated apple. So, you want your apples slightly mounded. This might be a little bit too mounded. Um, I might have made slightly too many apples for the size of dish, but I didn't want to waste them, so and they will shrink down, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm just going to finish off by putting the topping on. We're going to have a go at doing a lattice top. Okay, start in the middle, we're going to cut a line, and then we're going to cut 10, 12 strips. Want them to be the same sort of size. You might be better at this than me. So I'm gonna bring my pie in and take my biggest one across the middle. And we're gonna turn it and we're gonna pick up every other one. made it. So I'm just going to cut off some of this excess. And then we're going to add some of these extra bits to the edge. Okay, and now we're going to crimp it. So we're going to put one finger in and pinch. And I'm just going to push those peaks down a little bit. So they don't brown too quickly. And then I'm just going to neaten up the edge. I'm just going to finish off the pie by adding a nice egg wash to every bit of the pastry. So I'm just going to sprinkle over some caster sugar and then we're going to pop it in a hot preheated oven at 210 degrees fan for 15 minutes and then we're going to lower down the heat to 160 degrees fan and that's going to go on then for about 45 minutes to fully cook the pie through and what I like to do is put a thick metal tray on the shelf I'm going to be cooking the apple pie on and then I pop that pie straight onto that, that hot baking sheet to help cook the bottom of the pastry through. So see you in an hour. Our apple pie is out of the oven and smelling gorgeous it's still nice and warm but I have let it cool for a little bit so that we can cut into it and I've also in the meantime made some beautiful vanilla custard to go with it I don't know if you're a custard person or whether you're an ice cream or whether you're even a cream person or all three 
But if you do want this recipe, click on the link above and it'll take you there and you can have a look at that and I'll link it down below as well. Also, while my pie was in the oven, it did start to brown a little bit too much around the outside. So I popped a piece of foil over it and let it carry on cooking and it stopped it browning any further. So without further ado, let's have a little cut and taste our apple pie. Custard. It's got a really flaky pastry. It's lovely and sweet and warm with the cinnamon and a little bit of brandy. And then the apple comes from nice and sharp at the end, which is what I like. And it's just finished off perfectly with some custard. I just need to add some ice cream now. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up. If you do like watching my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Mmm. Ah, you gotta try this.